Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel for another banger. Now as you can see the title, I'll be talking about Biolace, which is a company that I put on my watch list in a previous video. I've been watching it for a while and I first heard of it from Reddit a month ago, ish, ish, or more. I don't remember clearly, but they are basically a dental hygiene or at least a dental company they make dental lasers so they also make uh take-home lasers and like the heavy duty lasers that can be bought by dental offices and as weird as this may be i think that this company has a lot of potentials as i think laser is definitely could be potentially the future of dental care now I should give a disclaimer that I do have shares in this company. So I like to tell you guys when I do have shares in the company because I feel like transparency is key, like, right? Like, I, I'm sure you'd want to know that information. Um, so, as much as I own this company, I have earlier this morning, I like just Googled on YouTube to see if any other people have talked about it. And I noticed that Jack Spencer has talked about it. And that's the only video that I did watch. Um, and I noticed a lot of other videos on it as well. So I was like, okay, what's the point of making a video and saying the exact same things that other people are gonna say? So for this video, I actually want to talk about the cons of BioLace, things that people may not be considering when investing in this company. Now, in my opinion, I feel like lasers are cool, right? Such a cool thing, right? Imagine your teeth being cleaned with lasers or like whitening your teeth with lasers. That'd be cool, right? But the problem with that is, can't dental offices just use regular hydrogen peroxide to whiten teeth? Isn't that not only cheaper and cost effective, but even healthier? I do like to consider the health and like side effects of things. Like what are the side effects of actually using laser on teeth? Have they studied to find if this in the long term could be bad for like teeth enamel, erosion, or any of that. I think that's worth considering. And even though lasers can be used for surgeries like gingivita pomis, crown lengthening, and biopsies, haven't these dental offices that currently exist, don't they already have things that they use? And where does the company Biolase come into that? Wouldn't it cost them more money to be buying other lasers? like? Uh, what's the competition like for BioLace? I think that it is worth considering that because a lot of these um, offices or dental surgery people, they, they could be very reluctant to buy something else, especially when they already have it. Like, how much better is the BioLace lasers? Do you get what I mean? And another thing is that the field of medicine, okay, let me just say dentistry in particular, just like law they seem to be really slow at like incorporating newer technology and like i feel like it would take a really long time um because these things have to be tested they have to be you know put in the public and actually used so that probably takes a while now could this affect the stock price if you're not canadian would be the cost of insurance because i don't i don't even in canada i don't even think that OHIP um, covers laser treatments or even in the US do they cover laser treatments like people that don't have money cannot afford laser treatments right like it's just better to go get your hydrogen peroxide or uh, go to like a cheaper place so this is worth considering um, also even though lasers are cool I don't think that they're capable of replacing the established instruments and the stuff that dentists use that have been used for a really long time like new things and new technology it takes a while for people to go from being comfortable with their old ways to new ways so also a apparent research that has been found actually shows that um, lasers are, are are very inconsistent in reducing bacteria so I'm gonna just leave that right there. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, I definitely do not think any of the things that I mentioned would really affect the stock price. I definitely do see this company going to like $10, but I just wanna talk about the cons and I will probably put a video in the comments or in my description. You can go watch on 
be financials and all of that. I could really talk about all of that, but you know, I just prefer to talk about the business model and like whether a company is good or not. Cause yeah, on that note, don't forget to subscribe. We are over 200 subscribers, y'all. Thank you for that. Smash that like button, comment. Let's talk in the comments what y'all think. Do y'all see any other cons with this company? Um, yeah, bye.